The Michigan Humane Society Rescue Department received a call about some cats that were stuck in a vent in an apartment building. When I got out there, the, uh, some of the residents had already started to take the wall vent off the wall, so it, there was a big opening for me to look through. It was more of a, a chimney space. The kittens were about, I'd say, eight to 10 feet down on a bunch of uh, like broken pieces of cement and some two by fours and things like that. At first, I wasn't really sure on how they had gotten there until I looked up and noticed that there was a space between the roof and then like the top floor of the upper apartment where I guess cats have been living. So they were up there and had fallen down. One of the kittens was active and the other kitten was not. The other kitten was uh, pretty much like pancake, just laying real flat, uh, real still. So automatically I assumed that, you know, the kitten was injured. To get the kittens out, I had tried to use a, a trick that I've used a couple of other times to get some cats and dogs out of uh, deep holes. The technique that I use is I hook a couple of leashes together, get it in the area that I want, and then pretty much just pull it tight and I hook whatever animal that I'm trying to get. It took me a while. I had called for backup, asked them to bring a, our extendable control stick because it just wasn't working. The one kitten was playing with it and pulling it and the other kitten wasn't moving so I couldn't really get it around that cat either how I wanted. Just kept trying and then eventually I'd gotten the one kitten. So I pulled him out real quick and got him into a, uh, a tomahawk, which is a cage we use to transport animals. By the time that happened, my uh, coworker had shown up with the uh, control stick. So I was able to maneuver that through the chimney area to uh, get the other kitten and pull him out the same way. Uh, we assumed he was injured when I got him out and we got him into the tomahawk. He pretty much came to life and was like, you know, he spazzed out a little bit in the cage, but once we got him back to the shelter, they were both really calm and very handleable. When we got back to the shelter, I explained the situation to the evaluator. We gave vaccinations and gave pyrantal due to their weight. Once the evaluator had started, you know, looking them over, she was checking for injuries. They had both became very, you know, pretty handleable. They weren't as stressed out anymore. And the one that I had thought was you know, definitely injured, you know, was very active, moving around. And when the evaluator looked at him, he uh, he did he wasn't showing any injuries. All of his limbs were good. Nothing was cut or bleeding. Due to their age, Peter Parker and Matt Murdock had spent some time in foster just to get bigger and healthier, kind of rest up after their whole ordeal. Peter Parker and Matt Murdock must have some kinds of superpowers to, uh, you know, take that big of a fall into uh, the jagged rocks and the, the broken concrete and the two by fours and stuff that were in there and walk away without injury. It's due to your life-saving support that we were able to get out and get the kittens out of the chimney area where if nobody would have intervened or called, would have more than likely died.